Today, in just a few minutes, we're going to go from this to this. Hi everyone, and welcome to my video guide on how to port forward and achieve an open NAT status with any game or program, even if you're currently in a double NAT situation. My name is Adore, and I'll be your guide today. The first thing we need to do is create a new static IP address. In order to do that, we want to open up Control Panel, go to Network and Internet, and from there, Network and Sharing Center. Then you just want to click your Wi-Fi and choose Properties. Inside, there's quite a few different options, but we want to choose Internet Protocol version 4 and go to the properties of that as well. Now we're going to want to enter some new settings in a few minutes here, but in order to get those settings, we need to pull up Command Prompt. So the first thing we're going to do, though, real quick, is inside the configuration here, change it from saying that we want to automatically assign an IP address and DNS servers to choosing to go with our own. So click the two different dials for that. And then we're going to just, um, I'm on Windows 10, so it might be slightly different if you're on a different version of Windows, but I'm going to go to the Start menu and type CMD. And then just as a best practice, it's always best to open in elevated mode. So we're going to right click it and choose run as administrator. And now inside of this, we just have to enter a really simple command. And that's going to be IP config space forward slash all. Just the same way that I've written it here. You want to find your IPv4 address under your Wi-Fi and write that down as well as your subnet mask and your default gateway. Also make a note of your DNS servers as you might need them uh, to be switched back at a later time. All right, so we can head right back to, to our IP configuration and we can enter in these settings. For your IP address, um, whatever you did write down, the way that it works is that the last number is the one that you wanna switch. So in my case, it's 192.168.1.1 but I'm going to switch it to 205. You can set it to any number, anywhere from one to 254. And then we want to enter the subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0 in my case. And then of course our default gateway, which is 192.168.1.1 in my case again, but whatever yours is you want to write there. And then under your DNS servers, there's two different ones that I would recommend. The first is going to be Google's, and those are 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Or you can go with ones that I'm using, which are from Cloudflare. They've been shown to both be secure and also very fast. And that's 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. All right, so... Now, at the very bottom, we just click the little uh, validate settings, and then you hit OK. All right, so awesome. Now you have a new static IP address. So at this point, Destiny just works and the other games and everything, right? Everything's open? Uh, no, unfortunately not, but it's not very hard. We just need to do some port forwarding. So the next thing you want to do is find out, um, depending on what your router is, I have a personal router, so mine is a ASUS but you might have like a Cisco or a Netgear or something along those lines. You want to find out what the default IP address is for it. And you also want to find out what your default password uh, and user are. Now, if you're using one from your ISP, it's very possible that they set up their own user and pass and you might just need to call them up and ask them about it. But otherwise, it usually is that your username on a default router is admin and the password is usually password. So I'm just going to log into mine right away. And you also might need to look this up with regard to your router on just where to find your port forwarding settings. But for mine, they're under this WAN uh, thing right here. So I'm going to click on that. And then the first thing I want to do is in my case, I have a little thing that tells me um, to turn them on. So I'm going to turn it on. All right. And then Right here under the service name, that's where we can basically enter anything that we want. So if you weren't doing Destiny 2 and you just want to keep track of which uh, games or programs are used in certain ports, you can put whatever name you want there. But in my case, I'm using Destiny 2, so I'll type Destiny 2. 
The next thing is going to be the port range. So we're going to enter in the number. I'm going to start with the first port I know of for Destiny 2, which is 1935. And that is a TCP only. So I'm going to select TCP. And of course, I'm going to enter this into the other port range selector for the local port. And then once I have it set to TCP, I can just hit add. The next port that I know Destiny 2 uses is 3478, and this one uses both TCP and UDP, so I want to set that one as both. Uh, and then there's also a 3479, which I also want to set as both. And then there's also 3480, which is a TCP. So again, I just want to enter in all of this, and of course I have to enter in my static IP address, uh, the one that we just created as well. Forgot to mention that, sorry. All right, and then the last one is um, one that in the video I kind of screwed up when I was doing the recording, but it's actually supposed to be 3474 UDP, not TCP. And the only reason it ends up working is because I actually already had it in the list. All right, so now that we have all of our ports entered in, we can actually just apply this, and that's going to have the router um, basically assign the port forwarding. At this point, if you're not in a double natted situation or some other configuration that causes an issue, you should immediately be able to use uh, any program or whatever that you're setting up with open ports. That would mean that your status for your NAT is going to show as open. But in order to double check that everything's good, we're going to go to Google real quick and we're going to type in simple port tester and then we're going to download that. So it's going to be the first link, and that's the PC WinTech. And you just download it, install it, and then we're going to open it up. And we're going to check the status of our ports in this. Now, unfortunately, we do have to enter each of them individually. And we do have to enter you know, TCP or UDP. So in the case of like 3478, which is both, we have to enter both of them. But once you close out of it or anything like that, it saves the settings for you. So it's not an issue at all. Once you have them all entered in, uh, we're going to play it. Uh, there's a little begin button, so we'll press that and it's going to go through a little thing. And as you can see, I failed everything, which I already knew was going to be the case because I'm in a double natted situation. If you're not, everything should be success and you can just go play the game or use the program that you were trying to set up for forwarding for. However, in my case, I'm behind an ISP router as well. So what this actually means is now I need to log into my ISP which in my case is from Cox Communications, but yours could be Comcast, Time Warner, something along those lines. I need to enter into their router, which in my case is the Netgear, so I'm going to go and type in the default IP address for that, which is 182.168.0.1. And now that I'm inside of that router, you're going to see there's quite a few different options. So again, this is in our case where you probably need to look up the router just to find out what you're looking for. But what we're trying to find is the DMZ or demilitarized zone. Because what we want to do is enter an IP address that we want our router to basically ignore in this case. In order to find this, and I've watched a lot of videos and I've read tons and tons of forums and I just couldn't get the correct answers on where to find the IP address that you need to enter in here. So um, the IP address that you need is just your other router. So in my case, I'm going to go back over to ASUS's um, router page, which I have already logged in again. Um, and it's going to tell me right here at the top that my IP address for that is 192.168.0.2. So now I bring that back over to the Netgear one. And where I had the default demilitarized thing, which was in my case under the setup WAN uh, inside of advanced settings, I'm going to enter 192.168.0.2 and I'm going to hit its default DMZ, the little checkbox next to it, and then hit apply. And then just for good measure, I might hit apply a second time. Okay, now that I set that up, I'm going to wait just a few seconds before I pull up the simple port tester again and double check that everything shows as successful. All right, so now that I've done this, we're going to hit begin, and as you can see, everything is completely successful across the board, which means that all these ports are already open for me, which means that I should have a wonderful experience and not have a moderate or strict type of NAT situation with Destiny 
or any other program if I was setting up the ports for those. Again, each program or game is going to have its own ports that you have to set up, and your router will give you a certain amount of ports that you can do. Now, in some cases with the DM Militarized Zone, I believe sometimes you can enter several IP addresses, but in my case, I was only able to enter the one. But every router should have some kind of access to a DMZ zone that you can enter in the IP address of your primary, in my case, a personal ASUS router. And now that I've shown that everything is successful, all we need to do is open up Destiny. And once we get the program loaded up, the game, whatever it is, you can go to wherever its settings is. In this case, I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to open up settings. And I'm going to go down to accessibility. And as you can see under the stun test NAT type, it shows as open. That is completely open. And that means I get the most wonderful experience with multiplayer and shouldn't have any issues whatsoever with my networking. I really hope you guys liked the video. If you did, the button's down below, and it really means so very much to me. There's also a less happy button down there, but you wouldn't want to click that and do bad things to me, would you? Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, because if you don't ring the bell, then you won't hear from me very often. Sad face. Please share the video everywhere, and don't forget to comment if you have any issues or need any advice or anything like that. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.